Hi, my name is Zahid Bhai. I'm the lead author for the study titled Effect of Opioid Substitution Therapy and Mental Health Counseling on HIV risk among HCV infected individuals. Our objective was to estimate the incidence of HIV among HCV infected individuals and to identify factors that determine HIV infection risk. Understanding these factors could inform prevention programs. We analyzed the British Columbia Hepatitis Testers cohort, a large administrative cohort of approximately 1.5 million individuals, tested for HCV or HIV at the BCCDC Public Health Laboratory. The cohort also includes people diagnosed with HCV, Hepatitis B, HIV, or active tuberculosis. This cohort is linked with data on medical visits, hospitalizations, prescription drugs, cancers, and deaths. We enrolled all HCV positive individuals who were tested for HIV and found HIV positive six weeks after their HCV diagnosis. We looked at various factors that could affect the occurrence of HIV among HCV positive individuals. Over 36,000 HCV positive individuals were eligible for inclusion in our study. Of these, 6% developed HIV infection. A similar proportion of HIV cases were detected among HCV positive seroconverters and HCV prevalent individuals. However, the incidence of HIV was higher among HCV seroconverters than HCV prevalent individuals. In our study, a high incidence of HIV was associated with being male, problematic alcohol use, MSM status, having a history of injection drug use, HPV, major mental illness, active TB, and urban residence. However, people on OST had lower incidence of HIV, as shown by the cumulative incidence curves. This was the same for mental health counseling. Using Cox regression analysis, factors associated with high risk of HIV were injection drug use, HPV, and MSM status. In contrast, we identified opioid substitution therapy and mental health counseling as being associated with lower risk of HIV. Specifically, OST was associated with a 41% reduction in HIV risk and mental health counseling was associated with a 52% reduction in the risk of HIV. In conclusion, injection drug use, HPV, and MSM status increases the risk of HIV. OST and mental health counseling reduces risk of HIV among HCV positive individuals. In view of these findings, harm reduction programs coupled with OST and mental health counseling may reduce the risk of acquiring HIV. Therefore, improving access to OST and mental health services could prevent transmission of HIV and other blood-borne infections.